survive in the last month? What happened to this team? Um, you know, we just fell short. Uh, a lot of games we didn't execute. Um, it wasn't good enough on our part. And, you know, when you do stuff like that in this league, you're going to get beat. You know, it's hard to win in this league. And you know, we didn't do our job well enough to be able to win. Did you like to make Say it again. Has it hit you that this season is over? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, um, it sucks. But at the end of the day, I mean, I try to do everything I can to help this team win. I know all my teammates, all coaching staff, the best job we could. Just wasn't good enough this year. Wasn't God's plan for us to uh, play further more into to, to the playoffs. But, you know, you always appreciate the journey. How difficult is, are days like this, you know, with the uncertainty going forward? Well, it's always difficult, man, because, you know, we like a family. You know, these are my brothers, so whenever, you know, um, you know the end of the season, you have your exit meeting, it's always tough because I mean, nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. But you just hope for the best for every single one of, one of us in here. And, um, you know, we work hard a lot of passion to this game and just want everything to work out the best. You're, you're, talking about getting in, you're in the prime the time, of your career. And, and, and you only get so many swings at it. Uh -huh. the, how much does that make this kind of more of a bitter missed opportunity when you were sitting there at seven and three? Yeah, I know. Just at the top of the league and then um, just kept going down and down. But um, at the end of the day, like you said, all you, gotta, all you can do is just try to put your best effort out there each and every week. And, that's what I try to do. I hope people seen that, and I uh, hope my teammates you know that's what I try to do. Just put it on the line for them every day. And like I said, just wanting any plans this year for us to, you know, be at the top of the division, be in the playoffs, and want everything to work out the way it was supposed to. But you know, just gotta keep a growth mindset and um, keep growing. And you know, I'm gonna get back to work when I get back for the offseason. Everything's, everything's uh, trending the right way. You know, rehab's going well. Um, I'm really happy with with how things are going. Obviously, just sucks. Uh, had to go through it. You know, so. Uh, unfortunately, it's a it's part of the game, and um, I was able to, uh, to stay away from it for a long time. It finally, uh, finally caught up to me. You know, looking forward to to being healthy again. Are you hopeful of being back here next year and being this team's starting quarterback? That's of course, yeah, I'd love to be back here, um, and uh, we'll just have to see what happens. What was it like watching the last couple of weeks, and what's maybe the feeling you leave here tonight? It's hard. It's hard, uh, you know, watching you know guys that you care about and. And you want to be out there with them. Um, you want to be out there battling with them. You know, obviously, finding a way to win games. So uh, tough to uh, to watch it on TV and and um, you know to see all the work that goes into it and not turn out the way that we all wanted it to in this building. So um, yeah, just tough to watch. When your ankle need any more work, are you going to be good to go for the off season and, and training camp and everything? Yeah, it should be good. Obviously, you know, I need to keep rehabbing it, but um, it's further surgery or anything. No, it should be good. Yeah, I was, I was really happy with Josh, you know, just a guy coming in in a tough situation, uh, being kind of thrown into the fire. Um, you know, he's obviously a very smart guy and, uh, and a good football player. Um, did a really good job of, of coming in and, and getting a handle on things quickly and, and giving us the chance to go win the game. Aaron's 40, Brady's 45. How many years you got in the tank? <laughs> I definitely have some good years left. You know, I feel I feel really good, um, even coming off this this injury. Uh, I feel feel really good and and looking forward to some uh, some bright years ahead. Throughout your career, Ryan, how have you learned how to kind of deal with the uncertainty of what lies ahead? I mean, I know it's part of the business, but everyone gets used to it at their own pace, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely not the fun part of the business, but it's something that, like you said, you do get used to over time. Um, just kind of have to. To take it as it comes, you know. Keep keep your mind in a good space. Uh, keep the people around you that uh, that support you and care about you, and and just build those relationships. Lean on those relationships, and um, and just take it how it comes. What was your year like? I guess for you as a whole, when you started seven and three, had to deal with the ankle injury throughout, and then of course it ended like it did. Uh, how tough of this year? How tough of a year was it for you? I guess. Yeah, it was tough. You know, I mean, I don't think anybody here. Uh, could have ever seen it, you know, finishing the way it did. Um, and we battled through a lot as a team. Um, found a way to win games early, and um, you know, unfortunately, you know, the injuries and uh, just not making enough plays down the stretch uh, caught up to us. So, um, you know, you know, obviously a lot's going to change, but uh, but proud of the guys and the fight that we showed, even though the, the results didn't didn't pan out the way we all wanted them to. Um, you know. I can look around this locker room and, and see a bunch of guys who gave everything they had, you know, guys who were kind of thrown into the fire like Josh or guys who have been here, you know, on the practice squad and, and given an opportunity and, and thrown in there and, and given big roles, um, given everything they had to, 
to uh, find a way to and help this team win. Uh, so I'm proud of our, our locker room and our guys, you know, even though things didn't turn out the way we all wanted to. Do you feel like the, with a few tweaks here and there and maybe, uh, you know, a little better luck injury-wise, this team can still contend? Uh, no question. I mean, uh, obviously there's going to be some changes um, like there is every year. Um, that's that's standard across the, across the league. Is, is there going to be changes, and uh, you're going to try to bring in bring in players who can help us help us win and, and make plays, make an impact. Um, but yeah, there's going to definitely going to be changes. So I was just happy to be here. Um, I'm, I'm I'm happy to like Tennessee is home for me, and um, the people here, the fans here, like the community here. Just when I'm out, you know, going out to dinner, you know, it's, it's great. The people here is very nice. Um, so, like, just being here in Tennessee, this is why I want to play the rest of my career. And um, hopefully that happens. So. Any concerns that this Thank could you. maybe drag on? Because, you know, right, as of now, this, this franchise doesn't have a general manager. I said, I don't know. Um, when it get time to that point, um, you know, when it's time to actually, because I haven't, I don't know if they started talking yet. I don't, cause like you said, we don't have a general manager in place right now. Um, and they haven't hired no one yet. So, I, I guess when it gets to that point and, we figured out when we actually start talking, that's when we could worry about that. But, you know, I, I don't want this process to be, me personally, you know, I, like I said, I got a team in place for it, but I don't want that process to be forever, you know, because like I said, I want to be here. I don't want it to be stressful or none of that. So I, like I said, hopefully that process don't last that long. So you got, you got pretty emotional the other night talking about how you've been shooting up your ankles since week eight and you're doing this in the final year of your, of your contract. Why was it so important for you to, you know, try to be out there week after week, even though you were banged up. You know, it wasn't um, not one point of, of the season where I just thought about, you know, um, sitting out or or you got a just a contract. You know, talking about contract because when I came into the season, I said I didn't want my contract to be a distraction, not just for me but my teammates because I know how that could be a distraction. And you know, I wanted to be on the, that field with my teammates, no matter, you know, hurting, you know, couldn't practice. But um, each and every week, I found a way to get to the game. Um, you know, prop to Todd and his staff, and you know, Coach Raven are taking care of me, so I was able to get to the game. And um, you know, it was emotional because when you just think about it, you know, I mean, with the type of um, ankle sprain I had, I didn't think it was going to last that long. Um, I thought it was just like a normal ankle sprain, and like boom, it's, it bothered me. Man, woke up this morning still limping. So it's like, you know, um, it's one of the things where you just have to fight through it. Um, you know, I, I, I think when you play in this game of football, you know, you, you're not going to come in the way you, um, you what, you're not going to leave out the way you come in, um, especially because you know, I came into the season feeling the best I've felt in a long time. So then, boom, something happened with the ankles. And then, you know, it's just part of adversity, part of the game. And, you know, we fought through it. And I fought through it. And like I said, I appreciate the, um, the training staff and everyone around me to help me get through it. So Was it more than a sprain, Jeff? Was it more than a sprain? Um, I don't think it was more than a sprain. Uh, I looked, got it looked at yesterday. I don't think I, it's going to be nothing surgical um, that happened um, that I need. Um, so I think that's a plus. You know, that was a relief. I think it's the biggest thing is rest. That's what I didn't, I wasn't able to have because of the nature of our game. We playing week after week. And, you know, the only option was because I wasn't feeling the best. The only option was, all right, I want to play. So what I'm going to do, shoot it up. Um, so I think when it came down to it, the shot didn't affect my ankles or nothing that. So I said that was, that was a plus. And like we looked at it again yesterday, and I don't think it was uh, from what the doctor told me. It's nothing surgical needed to happen. So. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, what, what have they told you about as far as what the process may look like, just about being patient and how optimistic are you'll be back at your locker next year? Um, I haven't talked to no one about it yet, honestly. That's the honest opinion. I'm, I mean, honest answer. Um, I haven't talked to no one about, especially dealing with the contract. You know, only thing I have talked to talk to um, Coach T just to how much, um, and I asked him like, you know, what could I improve on um, for this next season and stuff in that nature, or um, you know, how was this season different than last year? That's what we talked about. Is wasn't really nothing about the contract. So, you know, when, like I said, when did it get to that point? Um, I'm sure you guys will know, um, but. Like I said, I, I haven't talked to anyone about the country just yet. You've been through a handful of leagues, KB. It never, never gets any easier, does it? Yeah, man, I don't like this. Um, I'm not really good with, like, goodbyes and all this stuff. And, you know, you got to start really realizing that, you know, a lot of these guys you might not see um, for a long time. If not, you know, I ain't going to say ever again or nothing like that. But you might just see them in another color jersey, 
Uh, got to meet with coaches. Trash bag day, you know what I'm saying? Clean out your locker. So it's just not really a, a good day at all in the NFL. Um, a lot of things going to be changed. So, um, yeah, tough day around the entire NFL. You talked about a lot of things need to be changed. Everybody debates what needs to be done this time of year. Are you still confident you guys are just a couple of pieces away from being where you need to be? Yeah, that's how I feel personally. Obviously, this is a extraordinarily tough year when it comes to injuries the past two years. Um, I mean, at this point, it's always going to be, a, you know, what it could have, should have, you know, what, what, what would it be like if we had our, you know, full health of guys? Uh, we didn't have so many guys on IR, um, but we'll never know. Uh, but I'm still confident in that. Uh, who knows what, you know, this team and this roster is going to look like next year. But uh, just leaving this season and just kind of thinking about it in review, just, you know, if we would have had those guys, you know, you know, what would things been like? You've stayed healthy while all these injuries have gone around you, knock on wood. Yeah. But, I mean, do you think organizationally that you guys got to look at something here? Because this is two years in a row. I mean, I would, I would hope so, but, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I have no clue. I have no clue what's, um, like I said, what's going to happen uh, with this organization. I'm going to take some time away from myself. And, obviously, when I get back to training, I'm going to train like I always do. I'm going to take care of my body like I always do. Then just take everybody with you. Yeah, possibly. I mean, whoever wants to come train with KB, come train with me. Tell him we're going to get it in. Trust me. Defensively, do you feel like you guys have a good base there? I mean, what, what do you feel like maybe needs to be improved next year? Our pass defense. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty uh, disappointing to for me personally being a DB um, to obviously have the number one rush defense and the worst pass defense. Um, so that's one thing we had to clean up for sure is our past defense. We had to find a way, uh, had to find a way to be better. First and foremost, to be better, to make more plays for this team, uh, and to be a better leader as well. Um, we've obviously had a whole lot of injuries in the secondary as well. Obviously that affects things, but uh, I always try to look at myself personally and look at myself first and say, hey, what can I do better uh, this offseason to get uh, to improve that number. You get a front row view of Jefferson. What does he mean to this defense? I mean, it means a lot to this entire football team. It means a lot to this organization. A guy who I've watched over the past few years just become not only the dominant uh, force that he's been up front, but just becoming a, a more vocal leader on his team. I mean, you guys seeing the emotion that he had at the end of the game uh, in Jacksonville. I mean, this guy's battled through a lot of adversity. He's battled through a lot of injuries. Um, this year, obviously, with the ankle. And it just shows you just the dedication, the love that he has for this game, the love he has for his teammates, wanting to be out there, being available, not being able to practice throughout the entire week, but still going out there and giving everything he's got. So a uh, ton of respect for him and a lot of love for him. Uh, obviously, he's, you know, he's, you know, he's a guy that I admire and a guy that I want to continue to play with for a long time. Kevin, you mentioned the uncertainty that goes into every offseason. Is it ramped up even more this offseason, given the fact that as of now, this franchise doesn't have a general manager. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, who I don't, I, I firmly and I will always believe that uh, when you look at everything as a whole, the way this roster is, uh, was constructed, um, we have a lot of talent on this roster. Now, with that being said, I mean, who knows what's going to happen when a new GM comes in? Is he going to say, "Hey, let's run it back," or he's going to? you know do what he does and you know we kind of all know being in this business long enough what happens when a new gym comes in um so who knows um but i firmly believe in the guys that we've had here um you know just wish things could have been a little bit different when it came to the injuries and stuff like that i uh, just finished my seventh year here in tennessee uh i would love to be able to retire as a titan um uh, this, this team this city this organization the fans community uh it means a lot to me it means a lot to my family um so definitely wouldn't want to, really want, wouldn't really wouldn't want to play any other place, any other city, any other organization other than Tennessee Titans. What if the new guy, what if the new guy in charge is handing kind of you, you want to be standing right back here this, this next spring? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I hope so. You know, I, mean, I know it's been, uh, uh, we were talking about it's been, what, like 19, 20 days. It feels like it's been like three months, um, my time here. Um, I've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun and also feel comfortable and enjoyed getting to know the guys, being around the team. and. Um, as we all know, I love Tennessee, so um, hopefully it works out. I know, um, obviously, off-season free agency, it gets crazy, but um, I would love to be back here. Are you, are you probably optimistic about that, Josh? Excuse me? Do, do you leave with a sense of optimism that that could happen, do you think? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, I've had great conversations with the coaching staff and the front office, so um, there's a lot of situations, a lot of moving parts that, that go on with it, um, and so I'll be patient, but yeah.
very optimistic about it. You kind of had a lot of confidence in yourself, you know, before all this, but how much did it prove to you that, hey, I can play at this level and I, and I can do what it takes to be an NFL quarterback? Yeah, you know, I think it's just good to get out there and play, right? Um, I've always, always known the type of player that I am and, and can be, and um, definitely can start and play good ball in this league. So um, just to be out there and have that opportunity to do that and, um, of course, we all we all want to win every time we step on the field, and it stings when you don't. But to be able to go out there um, and play and play well, it definitely is satisfying. Other than that experience, what else would you say you kind of took away from this unique opportunity here at Tennessee? You know, I think um, just just loving ball, right, and and just embracing the journey. Um, you know, shoot, two months ago I was uh, sitting on my couch in, in Cleveland trying to figure out where I was practicing. You know, on Monday. Um, ended up in Detroit, and then you blink, you're here, and you're about to start your first NFL football game. So it comes at you fast. It's a it's a, it's a crazy crazy journey, um, but you know you got, you have to you have to love it, and you have to take it one day at a time, and focus on the preparation. Always prepare for the opportunities because you never know how things might shake out. It's been, about it's been your sixth season. What does the reflection process look like in the off season for you? Um, you know, I think um, just just one acknowledging the journey, right? Um, <laughs> You know, starting one place and going to one, another place and ending up here. So just acknowledging the journey and just reflecting on that. Also then now going back and uh, reflecting on, okay, played. How can I be better, right? How can I um, improve? Where are those little things I can improve and grow um, as a player, as a person? Um, so, yeah, it will be exciting. I'll be excited for, for the offseason and definitely be excited to come back with a vengeance next season. Uh, we, we haven't did that yet. Well, I think we, we all meet at 11. Um, but I'm pretty sure, you know, we've, we've been dealing with the, the injuries and stuff, you know, all year. Um, the ball didn't roll our way. Um, but I know we, we have a good group of men in this room, you know, a good, a good coaching staff. And I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll, we'll figure out a way, you know, to bring everybody together, you know, and, and come up with a plan. How tough was it for you to just be out that amount of time? Because, you know, with you being able to contribute earlier on right. and just kind of have to watch from afar. I mean, it was it was very tough. You know, you put on the work in, you know, all off season. Um, hopefully, you know, to, to end the the, uh, the season healthy. Um, you know, the, and the ball didn't roll my way. You know, this year, uh, but no, I feel like at the, the time I was on the field, you know, I gave it my all, so you no, know, I can't really be mad. David, how difficult? Sorry, it's good. It's just so random, but how difficult is a day like this, knowing that you know you're packing up, the season's over. And there's just um, it's, it's it's very difficult. You know, this is my first time. You know, uh, packing a little early. Um, some people have dealt with it before, you know, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll find a way, you know, to, um, you know, to um, uh, bring everybody together, you know, um, and figure it out. Um, I, I, like I said, we put in the, the time and the effort all year. Um, you know, sometimes the ball just didn't roll your way. Um, we, we dealt with a lot of stuff, you know, throughout the year, you know, so um, we'll, we'll figure out a way, you know, to get it back right. When you look at the defense as a whole, though, you feel like you guys have all the parts for the most part, that foundation there. I think so. Um, like I said, uh, it's kind of hard to tell when, when everybody's not on the field. Um, but I'm, we, we've seen um, uh, showings of that, you know, throughout the year, uh, playing a good defense, not just on, on the front seven, but all three levels. Um, so, you know, so that just comes with the game. You know, the injuries, it, it comes with it. You know, and, and you got to find a way to deal with them. David, looking at your contract status, what, what is it about this organization that you know makes you want to come back? Um, just the way, you know, uh, we treat our players um, as far as like the, the, the locker room. I mean, I haven't been anywhere else, but um, this locker room has been great to me, you know, since I've got here. Um, you know, we've never had no any, no type of like problems or ego problems or any of that. Um, every week we were just trying to find a way to get better, you know, and just keep the team together. Um, I, I feel like we did that uh, good for the most part. And, you know, you know, sometimes, like I said, you know, the ball doesn't roll your way as far as like, you know, on the field and stuff. And that is football and you uh, just try to make the best decisions you can. and take care of the football and you're being in the fourth quarter. You still have 100% believe in yourself that, that you're the man for the job one day? Or? Yeah, 1,000%. What's the biggest takeaway for yourself personally, your individual growth this way? Uh, probably just not to be so hard on myself and uh, just to take it day by day and keep working because at the end of the day, without failure, you don't grow. So it is what it is. Did this rookie season go by fast for you? Yeah, it did. It really did. I guess it was because just you go from college bowl game to senior bowl to combine to pro day to draft to rookie minicamp. 
what, vet mini camp, OTAs, training camp, and then the season starts, and it's like, you think it's, oh, we got a lot going on, and then boom, now it's over, you know? So it's kind of crazy. Are you relieved to have, you know, your rookie year kind of just done, check off, and then be able to build on it next year? I mean, yes, I am, though. Like, I want to go to the playoffs, but uh, I learned a lot this year, and I'm looking forward to try to utilize all the information that I've gained and just try to keep getting better. How long was this rookie year for you, man? Yeah, I can say it's, uh, it's been a rookie year that I will, I will remember. Um, you know, I'm grateful for, you know, every opportunity that I got. Um, you know, I just, you know, wish we could still be playing, but, you know, it, everything works in God's favor. You know, just take this all season like I know how and just, you know, come back and get better. What do you think you learned most from it and how much will that help you? Um, I would say really just not taking anything for granted. Go out there and approach every day um, like it's your last day. Um, be thankful for your teammates. Be thankful for your teammates, um, coaches, family, you know, and just um, just soak all of it in and just have fun. How much do you think being able to change the actual football rather than the measurements part of it will, will help you as a player? Um, uh, it'll help a lot. Um, you know, it'll, I can focus on, you know, the things I need to focus on to get myself better and, um, you know, to help the team and uh, just to be a better player. You, you made some plays this season. How excited are you to try to show that for 17 games next year? Um, you know, just like I always say, just keep coming back and getting better and better each day in practice, all season OTAs, and everything that I do, just make sure I can be the best version of myself. How much will that mean to you, Traylon, maybe to, to have that full off season, hopefully, in, in training camp that you weren't necessarily able to um, It means a lot, um, you know, um, just come back. Um, take advantage of every opportunity. Um, really everything. Um, speed, physicality, health, and um, just making sure that I stay on top of my details and everything just to be a great player.